And welcome into your moving parts. You know, your moving parts start with your feet because you have to start moving. One of the best ways as you age to exercise is by walking. But guess what happens? A lot of times you start walking and you go about two blocks or and you say, oh my gosh, my feet hurt. I don't know if I want to do this. The culprit can be that shoe you put on your feet. Make sure you get the right shoe. And to make sure you're doing that, we roll with us today, Avery, Avery Answorth. Yes. That's a, that's, it's a tongue twist. It's a tongue twist. It's yeah. almost like Gallocini. <laughs> but, um, and you run F Fleet Feet. Yes, sir. And, um, and I, I was fortunate enough to go in and, and pick up a pair of shoes. I uh, actually went on vacation and they worked beautifully. Worked good, good. They worked beautifully. So we they, did our job. You did your job, yeah. You, you, and, and that's, I think, the big thing about it is most people, they run into, and nothing against Target and all these other places, but they run in there and say, let me get a pair. First of all, there's mm -hmm. nobody to help you. Right. You put it on, a lot of people don't have the same size feet. You actually do, what, how do you do it when you come to your place? So when you come in with us, uh, somebody will greet you and we take you through our, our fit process. Okay. Uh, that involves asking you questions. What are you going to use it for? So are you beginning a walking program? Are you going on a long trip where you're going to be walking everywhere you go? Or are you wanting to get started in exercising? So that kind of lets us know where we need to gear the shoes towards. And then we do a couple of measurements of your feet and then we watch you walk barefooted. That lets us know what your body does when you start moving. And you measure the foot barefoot too. Yes, yes we do everything are. barefooted because that's your natural foot. Right. We know the shapes of the shoes, we know what the shoes are made for, and then we fit that shoe to what your foot is made for. Mm -hmm. uh, so all those help us narrow down the wall. Like you said at Target, you just go pick one off the wall and you're done. Right. Might not be made for you. Right. We can eliminate a lot of that guesswork by doing our fit process, and then we can get you into the shoe that's gonna feel the best and work the best for you. And Jack, it's actually less expensive to do it with Avery because if you get it right, then you don't wind up buying two or three pairs of shoes right. trying to find the right, right pair of shoes. Yeah, might as yeah. well just get it knocked mm -hmm. out once instead mm -hmm. of going back and forth and wasting gas money and, right. and grabbing every shoe you well, got Well, and, and the thing about it is, and, and it doesn't take more than about three weeks after they've bought that shoe to realize the fact that it, it's not, especially if they're going to try to really seriously get into a walking program. I mean, if you walk, the old adage, walk a mile in my shoes, mm -hmm. <laughs> you can say walk a mile in these shoes Ew. and you're going to go, ooh, I don't know if I can go that second mile, but uh, yeah. you need to make sure you can go that second mile. Yeah, I mean, that's our whole goal is we want to get people moving and comfortable, not just in their shoes for activity, but just day to day life, mm -hmm. uh, cleaning the house, uh, walking the dog standing on your feet at work all day. Absolutely. All those things we take care of to make sure that your feet are happy because if your feet aren't happy, the rest of your body's not gonna be happy. I agree. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so let's go through the, some of the ideas here because obviously I bought a shoe, but the most important thing then becomes the insert. Well, so the shoe is completely <coughs> flat on the inside, but okay. our foot has some curves to it. Mm -hmm. We have an arch. Uh, so the insert is gonna help make, customize that shoe a little bit more. It's going to actually fit and touch your foot at all places instead of you going, I don't feel this shoe touching where I want it to touch. Mm -hmm. So we use the shoe and the insert to really customize and make that fit just right for you. Mm -hmm. uh, so the inserts are made by a company that does custom orthotics. And these are the ones in the, the front. The super feet ones in the front. Right. right. But not everybody needs a custom orthotic. Not everybody can afford a custom orthotic. So they came out with an over-the-counter kind of uh, insert that we can cut and trim to actually customize for that shoe. Mm -hmm. Each color it has a different arch shape and a different heel cup. I'm a Once copper. Again, copper, and copper is great because yeah. it's got a little memory foam over the top of it, mm -hmm. kind of like that memory foam pillow you oh, have at the house. Yeah. Yes. So it really molds to your foot. It's a little softer than the rest of them. Uh, but each one of them is made for a different foot, just like each shoe is. So we know right. how these are made and we know how your foot's shaped. We match those up to meet each other. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, socks. And I'm going to hold this one pair of socks up. and we'll So socks are very important. What we say is cotton's rotten. Those 12-pack you can get at Walmart, those cotton right. socks, as you start to move and with this wonderful Alabama humidity that we have, it just we hold it right there next to our right. foot. And when you hold moisture next to your foot, you increase chances of blisters, callusing, uh, fungus Does, growth, all that kind of stuff. Doesn't help okay. diabetics. Does not help either. No, yes. no. True. So the right. biggest thing is getting a moisture wicking synthetic blend sock. Belega is what we really love. They're a little bit more expensive. But it's, they last longer. It's, this one pair is probably what you bought that whole pack for. Correct. But, but you will get the whole life of that 12 pack right. in that one pair of socks. Right. Wonderful. So it's, it's a trade off, but you will love those socks. And, and what, what is the big sock for? So this is a compression sock. If you're having some blood flow issues, pulling of uh, fluids and stuff in the foot, 
Um, this will help increase blood flow and get the good blood in and bad blood out. I'll be. So if you've heard of a um, medical grade compression hosiery right. that you mm -hmm. might wear right. in the hospital mm -hmm. or something, made by the same company, but now you've got a moisture wicking one that you can wash. So it's tighter at the bottom of the foot, loosens up as it goes. Kind of think of the water hose. Okay. Put mm -hmm. your finger over the water hose, mm -hmm. right. water squirts further. You're doing the same thing. You're holding your blood vessels tight. Get that blood out of the bottom extremities where it's always harder mm -hmm. to get blood flow. And that's what these socks are made for is to really Good. help with that. And then last we've got over here the, the sandals or um, the um, So a lot of people, flops. especially like we said in the southern heat, right. like to wear flops, don't want to have their feet in clothes, they think it's hot. These flops are uh, made by UFOs. They actually have an arch built into them. Okay. So another thing which you get with flops is they're just completely flat. They flat, don't match flat the foot. Flop. These actually will hold closer to your foot so you don't have a lot of that flopping sound. Mm -hmm. It actually sticks to it, makes it easier to walk, but you keep the arch supported at the same okay. time. We're going to get you to come back uh, in a couple of weeks, and we want to talk about uh, uh, some walking clubs and things that people do get, get, get up and going. Definitely. Okay. Remember, it's called Fleet Feet. It's in the, what's the shopping center? Westminster. Westminster Shopping Center, which is right at Carter Hill and Carter Hill. Carter Hill and Carter Hill. <laughs> Carter Hill and Carter Hill. <laughs> you can't, can't, we can't forget the street. And we'll be right back right after this.